Kan Hausa na BBC ke magana akan mita sha uku da sha shida da kuma tashoshin FM a wasu kasashen Afrika. Zulaiha Kibiya ke muku sallama a cikin shirin mu na karfe 3 daidai a gogon Najeriya da Niger wato bi daidai kenan a gogon GMT da Ghana. To a cikin shirin na yanzu za ku ji Prime Minister Israila Benjamin Netanyahu ya ce kubutar da mutanen nan biyu da akai garkuwa da su da sojojin Israila suka yi a Gaza ya nuna cewa matsin lambar soji ce kadai hanyar da za a bi domin kubutar da sauran mutanen wata kotun daukaka kara a Netherlands ta bawo gwamnatin kasar umarnin dakatar da yunkurinta na aikewa da wasu sassan jiragen yaki samfurin FTT5 Israila cikin kwanaki bakwai a Nigeria kuwa Kungiyar ma'aikatan jinya ta kasa ta gudanar da wata zanga zanga a Abuja domin adawa da wani sabon tsari da aka kullo musu da shi domin register. Wannan ali da muka kawo da ya aika samu experience a kallon shekara 3 ai mun yi shi ne saboda za a ga yaro yau ya kare karatu mu dai dukan da ka yana son shi bar kasa. A jamhuriyar Niger kuwa shugaban majalisar mulkin soji ya ce bakin alƙalami ya bushe game da fucewar kasar daga kungiyar ECOWAS kuma ba za su taba sakin hanbararren shugaba Muhammad Bazum ba. An hana abinci ya shigo. An kace mu na guda. An hana magani yau. Shi an muharin da mun ka hita kuma mun hita sai illa ma sha Allah. Muna kuma tafi da yadda wasu manoma a jihar Borno suka koka game da karancin taki da man Peter bayan Aisha Sharif Bappa ta karanto labarin duniya. Prime Minister Israila Benjamin Netanyahu ya ce kubutar da mutanen nan biyu da aka yi garkuwa da su da sojojin Israila suka yi a Gaza ya nuna cewa matsawar sojoji ce kadai hanyar da za a bi domin a kubutar da sauran waɗanda aka kama. Mutanen biyu da aka kubutar yan Hamas ne ke tsarar da su a cikin wani gini da ke tsakiyar Rafa. A yi nasara kubutar da su ne bayan da sojojin Isra'ila suka kai wani hari a birnin inda arhotanni suka ce sai da mutane a kallon 67 suka rasaran su. Mai magana da yawan gwamnatin Isra'ila Avi Haiman ya shedawa BBC cewa We were forced into war. We didn't choose this war, but we need to win. Yace ta samu da shiga yaki ne. Ba za mu zabi shiga yakin ba. Muna bukatar samu nasara a wannan yakin. Sannan kuma muna so kubutar da sauran waɗanda aka girkuwa da su. Wata kotun dauka ga kara a Netherlands ta bawa gwamnatin kasar umarnin dakatar da yunkurinta na aikiwa da wasu sassan jiragen yaki samfurin F35 zuwa Isra'ila a cikin kwanaki bakwai. Kungiyoyin kada haƙƙi dan adam da dama ne suka soki matakin. Suna masu cewa aikiwa da sassan jirgin yakin ya sabawa dokokin kasa da kasa. Tunda farko wata kota kasar ta yanke hukuncin cewa aikiwa da abubuwan mataki ne na siyasa. A don haka bai kamata alƙalai su sanya baki ba. Yan sanda a Dilli na kasar India sun haramta duk wani taron jama'a har zuwa nan da wata guda. Yan sandan sun dauki matakin ne ga bayanin gangamin da dubban manoma suka shiryaye a gobe talata a babban birnin kasar. Sun ce zanga zanga da ake shirin yi barazana ce ga kariyar da ake bawa al'umma. An dutura dubban jami'an tsaro babban birnin na India. Kazalika an saka shin gaya a dukkan hanyoyin Dilli zuwa jihohin da ke makubtaka ta birnin. More than 200 farmers unions from neighboring states are heading to Wakiliyar BBC ta ce manoma da kungiyoyi fiye da 200 a kasar ne suka shirye zuwa birnin a kan tractor domin bukatar a samu da sabon farashin kayan abincin da suke nomawa wanda aka yi alƙawari tun bayan zanga zanga da aka yi a 2021 ta labaran duniya na zuwa muku ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC yin kurin kafa gwamnati Pakistan na ci gaba da guda na bayan zabukan da aka yi sun nuna cewa babu jami'a guda da take da rinjaye a zaben a zakari jami'ar da Nawaz Sharif ke jagoranta da kuma ta Bilawal Buttu da tattaunawa akan ko za su samu da dakar jami'a guda an ci gaba da wannan tattaunawa a yau Pakistan da na fama da rikicin siyasa inda ta kara masu zaman kansu dake biyayya ga tsohon Prime Minister kasar Imran Khan suka samu kujeru rufe da sauran jami'u a majalisar dokokin kasar mutane da dama dai na ganin an tafka makudi a saban Wasim Qureshi na daga cikin mutanen da ke ganin wannan makuri da aka yi a zaben ga kuma abin da yake cewa Mera ni khayal ki ye fair elections hue Ya ce bana jin an yi zaben da cikin gaskiya da adalci ina kyauta ta tsamanin an tafka makuri a ciki duk wata gwamnati da za a kafa irin wannan yanayi to ba za ta dore ba Mai magana da yawan gwamnatin Senegal ya kare matakin shugaba Macky Sall na dage zaben kasar wanda ya janyo zanga zanga da yake magana da BBC Abdul Karim Fofana ya ce shugaban ya tsaya yayi abin da ya ga zai dace ne wajen wurare 
kuri matsalar da ake da ita wanda yasa ya dauki wannan mataki Mr. wato Mr. Sal ya ci dake zaben ne to mu a bayar da tamar a warware da kicin da ake game da batun rashin cancancar wasu yan takara to ne a dawo kasar suka bayyana matakin a matsayin juyin mulki ta amfani da kundin tsarin mulki mutakin shugaban kasar ta ya haddasa zanga zanga sassan kasar ta Senegal inda har rahotanni suka ambato cewa mutum uku sun rasaran su to karshen labaran duniyar kenan daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC an gaishe da Aisha Sharifa fada labarun duniya daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC To yanzu kuma sai fagen rahotanni Prime Minister Israila Benjamin Netanyahu ya ce kubutar da mutane biyu da ake garkuwa da su da sojojin Israila suka yi Yar Manuni ya ce cewa matsalan barsoji ce hanyar da za a bi wajen dawo da ragowar wadanda ake garkuwa da su gida. Hamas ta yi garkuwa da Fernando Marman da Luis Har cikin wani gini a tsakiyar birnin Rafa. Tana an kai kubutattun asibitin tsakiyar Israila inda likitoci suka tabbatar da ingancin lafiyar su. Ana ganin wannan ne karo na biyu da sojojin Israila suka yi nasarar kubutar da wadanda ake garkuwa da su. Ga Bilkisu baban gida da cikakken rahoto. An ce to mutanen biyu ne a yayin da Isra'ila ke kaddamar da mummunan lugudan wuta ta sama akan birnin mai cin kosan jama'a inda aka bada rahotan mutuwar mutane a kallon 67 wani mai magana da yawun gwamnatin Isra'ila Avi Heyman ya sheda wa BBC cewa za su yi duk wani abu da ya dace wajen ganin sun kubutar da fursunonin yakin We were forced into war we didn't choose this war but we need to win this war and we Yace an tilasta mana yin yakin ne ba mu zabi wannan yaki ba muna bukatar mu samu galaba a wannan yaki kuma mun shiga hakan don mu ceto fursunonin yakin kuma na fahimci cewa an kashe yan ta'addar da dama kana daukacin Isra'ila sun ji dadi a ransu da safiyar yau saboda bi daga cikin fursunonin yakin sun dawo gida sun kuma yi tozali da dangin su mu yi alƙawari ga mutanen Isra'ila tunda farkon fari cewa za mu dawo da kowane fursunan yaki gida yin garkuwa da mutane maza da mata da kananan yara har ma da jarirai aika ta laifi kan bil adama ne zamu dawo da duka fursunonin yakin gida kuma zamu yi duk abin da ya dace wajen dawo da su din kana zamu kakkabe Hamas the hostages and we will destroy Hamas mazauna yankin sun sheda BBC cewa an kai hara hara ta sama kusan 50 da sanyin safiyar ranar litinin wani likita asibitin dake kusa ya ce asibitin ya gaza daukar dawainiyar yawan adadin mutanen da suka jikkata sabri saidam babban jami'i ne daga jami'ar fata mai mulkin gabar yammacin kogin jordan wacce ta kanka ne hukumar palestinu yayi magana da bbc daga birnin ramalla game da samaman na birnin rafa the situation is extremely desperate my family is there and we are in constant touch and this yace halin da aka shiga matsananci ne iyali na na can kuma muna yawan magana da su halin da ake ciki na kara muni da ta'azzara a cikin dare palestinawa sun rasa rayukan su a dalilin wani abu da aka yi wa laqabi da ceto fursunonin yaki wanda ko kadan Isra'ila bata yi wata nadama ba kan duk wani abu da ya samu fararen hula anyar dama ita ce a ci gaba da kashe Palestinawa da dama kuma suna ƙara jefa mutane cikin halin ni ya for an operation that certainly going to claim more Palestinian lives ma'akarar lafiya dake karkashin ikon kungiyar Hamas a Gaza ta ce fadan a fadin yankin ya haddasa mutuwar mutane fiye da 160 a cikin kwana guda a gaishe da Bilkisu baban gida daga Isra'ila sai Najeriya inda gwamnatin tarayya ta amince domin duba hukuncin wata babbar kotun tarayya da ke Lagos dan bincike da kawo mafita kan tsadar farashin kayayyakin masarufi da abinci a kasar tun hukumar kare haƙin masu sayar da sayarwa ta FCCPC da sauran hukumomi suka fara zama da bayar da shawarwari domin tabbatar da kawo daidaito kan farashin kayayyaki a fadin kasar wana mataki ya zo biyo bayan wani hukunci da wata babbar kotun tarayya da ke Lagos ta baiwa gwamnatin tarayya kwanaki bakwai domin ta kayyade farashin kayayyaki a fadin kasar akan haka ne wakili na Lagos Umar Shehu El Leman ya tambaye Alhaji Adama Abdullahi shugaban hukumar kare haƙin masu sayi da sayarwa ta FCCPC game da halin da ake ciki bayan wannan hukunci nan da ma dukkan wuri ga mun ga wannan hukunci gaba da yansa ba amma abin da muka dauka shi ne kan cewa duk abin da shi bai gabatar da kara wato sami farana ya bayar gwamnati daga ta yadda da duk abu wanda ya nema wanda yake ya nemi ne gwamnati kai da farashi na kayan masarufi kayan abinci da kuma dangin mai akan wannan ne an kira meeting da ma'aikatar mu wanda an shigo da wasu ma'aikatu daban-daban wanda muka taru muka zauna ita dokar mu ta ta dubu biyu da 18 wato act da ya kafa FCCPC 
bande ba shugaban kasa dama ne kai da farashi amma sai an ba da kwararar da yake so duk mun duba nan abubuwa da ya kamata da duba da ko duba din irin wadannan shawarwari ne kuka bayar domin dakile wannan tashi farashin hukun hawa farashin kayaken abinda muke fada yanzu ga kwande karugalan shi ne kan cewa kaga akwai kasuwanni da yawa in kana da kwai al misali in ka ta wannan kasuwa ba kai saka shiga da shi kasuwa a farashin ka ba tun daga kofar kasuwa za a tare ka kan cewa a akwai kungiya kungiya ta riga ta tsaye da farashi kan cewa kwai ka da wuce kaza wani kan a fice haka to duk yawancin kasuwannin ma abin da suke cikin nan yanzu haka mu kokan da muke shi ne kan cewa mu ba su wannan platform din ya zama na kan cewa duk lokacin da ka zo sayar wannan akwai kamar al misali da aka zo daukan sufuri ne wato shi zasu dauka daga wannan sashi zuwa kasar na kasa zuwa wancan sashi da kuma sun samu su zama masu sauki sa'an nan mu tabbatar kan cewa an samu kasuwanni wanda ba zai musu wahalar shiga ba da mun samu su ba da kayayyakin su ko kuma sai da kayayyakin su mun kayayyakin su da mun samu wasaya to kokarin mu shine dama idan dai har akwai competition a abu za a kan jawabar shi a sauko kuban da ya kamata dole a duba kenan a tanyar da zai magani su kuma ke ba ku bari shawara a kai kenan idan na fahimta su wannan misali kamar kwana yanzu dai an fara kula da yadda farashin sai ke ko eh ai duk farashi da ake da shi daga lokacin da au ba su kafata shi zuwa yanzu muna da kididdiga a kai mun san kan cewa ala misali daga daga oktoba na bara 2023 zuwa yanzu da farashi da tashi ga 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 yadda yake a da saboda haka wannan ne za a amfani da shi a san kan cewa eh ya kamata ganda shugaban kasa ya shigo a cikin wannan magana ya kuma yi maganarinta ya dake da ya fada farashi kuma abin da zamu yi shine mu zamu tura da namu da foundation da yayi mu nuna kan cewa mu ga reportin mu ga abin da muka hango ga kuma shawarar da muke baya ba shawarar da muka baya ce kuma ta saurar kenan ga shugaban kasa a da can ma'aikatar mu ta industry trade investment za su ta abin da ya dace a kuma yi abin da ya dace ya zo aka wasu jiyoyi bayan samun bayan sirri su fara tuna asiri masu boya abinci ko hukumar ka tana cikin wadanda ake wannan aiki tare da su a a abin da yasa ba mu shigo wannan aiki ba shine ita kasa gaba da an akwai akwai babbar hukuma wacce take kula da wannan magana farashin abinci wanda su ministoci su ne suke ciki da su NSA da sa'annan da shugabannin fannonin tsaro duk wani wanda aka je aka bincike aka gano kan cewa ya koya kaya wannan hukuma da suke da shi yanzu a sama su za su tabbatar kan cewa su je su kalle wannan sto sto an tabbatar da kan cewa ba a ci gaba da korewa wannan kan masauki ta abinci ba so Alhaji Adamu Abdullahi kenan shugaban hukumar kare haƙƙin masu sayi da sayarwa ta FCCPC har yanzu muna Najeriya a yau ne wa'adin da hukumar Alhazai ta Najeriya ta sanya na karbar kudin aikin hajjin bane ke cika a bana jihohi da dama sun kasa cika adadin kujerun da aka ware musu saboda matsinta talin arziki Alhaji Laminu Rabiu dan Bappa shine director general na hukumar jin dadin Alhazai ta jihar Kano yayi wa Zaharuddin Lawan karin haske game da cikar wa'adin yau shabi ga watan fibrairu 2024 yau ne hukumar Alhazai ta kasa ta kaidi cewa da kayo din ka da masaji karbar kudin aikin haji da ta kaidi muna bangaren arewa miliyan 4 da 2600 da ke sai na tara amma da zama da da kai yanzu ofisoshin da ake karbar kudin daga alhamdulillah jama'a sun cika kuma sun amsa kira kuma ta karbar wannan ciki mai gamsawa na miliyan 4 da 2600 da kuma wani suka ba da miliyan 4 da 2500 na adashin gata wato na gajeren zango suna kawo 2500 da tara to yanzu wannan hali ake ciki a jihar Kano na san kujerun da gwamnatin Tarayya ta ware muku sun haura 2500 wannan hali ake ciki wallahi kujeru amma mu 2500 da 1934 amma wannan halin da muke ciki a yau nan ba mu sai da kujeru 3000 ba mun sai da kujeru 2500 da yan dauriya ina wadanda suka ba da rabi sauran kuma sai zuwa wannan lokaci su cika su wannan hali suke ciki to gaskiya mun mun bi dokar hukumar da ta kasa ba mu karbi rabi ba da mun tun farko ta ce lalle mu karbi miliyan 4 da 2500 shine wato adashi na gajeren zango idan kuma kana san adashi na dogon zango to ka je bankin jaiz bank ko da 2500 za su yi karba su a cikin account din ka to da ka mu ba wannan matsala kawai yanzu mutanen suna ci gaba kawa ne ko kuwa 
kun dakatar gaba da saboda yau ne karshe gaskiya bara mu daka tabbatun da ayyo ne karshe amma ai kaga yau ba ta karbe sai shi bin dare so da ka hayo din mata karba kamar yana ga maka a baya inda ramu zagaya da kai kaga al'umar da suke kawo wato wannan cikin nasa mai gamsar ba da sababban alazai da kuma wa'annan suka biya wato adashin gata su ya kawo cikon su a shekarun baya zaka ga a irin wannan lokaci har ma ku kan nemi kari a ba ku karin wasu kujeru a bana me damuwar to damuwar saboda maganar wato exchange rate wato maganar dala tunda ita da ake yawancin wato conference ko yawancin wato abubuwan da suke hadawa su zama wato kudin kujera zaka cewa kashi 90 da tara ko da takwas wato da dalar amurka ake lisafawa to ka wannan shine kawo tsadar wannan kujera amma a wannan gaba ne wannan ke godewa gwamnatin tariya domin ina ganin cewa hakika a tayaro gani akan wannan kudin kujera da ta bayyana amma me ya rawar ganin saboda abun ya haura miliyan hudu ya haura miliyan hudu amma kan duba za ya nana shi hadara ta kai 1000 da wajen 400 na abu na tabbata idan muka lisafa da ga mu ta mu gaskiya bana ji amma mai ta akan dala 1000 ma to akwai yuwar a ƙara wannan wa'adi daga yau idan a rufe ko kuwa babu wannan to gaskiya muna roƙon ita hukumar alaje ta kasa duk da ita ma cewa ita ma wa'adi ake bace daga can hukumar kasar Saudi Arabia to ina roƙon wato gwamnatin tariya ta nemi wato ƙarin wa'adi don mun mu samu maniyata masu yawa da kafadin Najeriya domin rayuwar ta mai zuwa abin da muke bukata illa addu'a to kuma can shine kat shine wajen addu'a Makka da kuma Madina Alhaji Laminu Rabiu dan Bafa kenan director general na hukumar jin dadin Alhaji a jihar Kano to yanzu karfe 3 da minti 16 a Najeriya da Niger muna gabatar muku da wannan shiri ne daga nan sashen Hausa na BBC kuna iya saurara mu ta hanyar internet a bbchausa.com To madalla yanzu kuma za mu je jamhuriyar Niger. Shugaban Majalisar Mulkin Sojan Niger ya bayyana dalilan da suka kai kasashe uku na Sahel da suka hada da jamhuriyar ta Niger daukar matakin fucewa daga kungiyar ECOWAS. Janar Abdurrahman Chani yayi wata hira da kafar watsa labaran gwamnatin kasar ta RTN inda yace Niger ta fuce kenan ba ja da baya. Sai dai kuma in ji shi hulɗa da yan uwantaka tsakanin kasashe mambobin kungiyar na nan daren ba abin da zai canza. Game da sakin tsohon shugaban kasar Muhammad Bazum kuwa Janar Chani ya ce ba za su taba sakin sa ba ga rahoton da cima illa ta aiko mana daga yamai Shugaban majalisar mulkin sojan Janar Abdurrahman Chani a tattaunawar da yadda kafar ta RTN ya amsa tambayoyi da dama na manema labarai muhimmai daga cikin su sun hada da fucewar kasashen IAS daga kungiyar rai ta talan arzikin yammacin Afirka eko wasko sai da yawo inda ya bayyana dallan da suka kai su ga daukar wannan mataki na fucewa yana mai cewa ta faru ta kare ba gudu ba sha da baya Niger ta fice kenan daga kungiyar eko was wagga kungiya dan muna cikin ta an hana abinci ya shigo an katse muna wuta an hana magani yau fito an hana kudin na Niger mu yi unwani da shi mun kace ya kamata mu yi shawara da abukan kawacen mu na Sahel wannan kungiya mu hita cikin ta dan kyauta ta rayuwa yan kasar mu mu hita cikin kungiya mai aiki da umurni kasashen waje kuma mun hita sai illa masha Allah tambayar cewa yan kasa na nuna damuwa kan matsalolin da wannan fucewa daga kungiyar ta Ecowas ko sai da yawo za ta haifa musamman kan abin da ya shafi ci na kaiya da kasuwanci zirga zirgar jama'a da dukiyoyin su shige da fice na al'umar kasar Janar Abdurrahman Chani ya amsa yana cewa duniya duka in ka doke ta yau an ce duniya ta zan dan gari guda dan koko guda gari nawa 119 ko hudu ina ji duka in ka diba ko ina koi kyan kasar Niger wada akwai kyan kasa na ECOWAS can ciki yaya suke suna rayuwar su ai ba cikin ECOWAS suke ba ko ko duka afirika cikin ECOWAS take duniya cikin ECOWAS take kuma akwai kyan kasa mu suna rayuwa rayuwa ta wadata ga shi na har taimako suke ka muna da sun ka ga takunkumin da an kasa mu bakin da Allah ya buda ba wanda zai hana shi cikin abinci gulda da dan uwanci da atsakankanan mu da wadannan kasashen za ta ci gaba komai bai sauyawa zirga zirgan da yan kasuwa ke yi zai ci gaba ce nan tattalan arziki sai abin da ya ci gaba insha Allah siyasar mu ta wadata ta daraja da dokar ra'ayin yan kasa sai abin da ya bunkasa 
game da batun saken hanbararren shugaban kasa Muhammad Bazum General Abdurrahman Chani ya ce wannan abin da ba zai taba yuwa bane ikuwas ta tambaye su sakin Bazum gare mu kamar mu daba makan mu yuka ne mu ce mu yi kirari to in mun daba makan mu yuka ya tsaya gare mu wannan ba komai bane amma mu daba makan mu yuka dan mu ciuci yan kasa ba zai yi yuwa ba daga karshe dai shugaban majalisar mulkin sojan kasa ta Niger ya yi dogon tarihi kan yadda aka kafa kungiyar ta ECOWAS ko sai da yawo dauko daga yakin biyafara har zuwa dallan kafa ta da kuma shugabannin da suka samar da ita cima ila isufu BBC Hausa daga Maradi Jamhuriyar Niger to daga batun fitewar Jamhuriyar Niger daga kungiyar ECOWAS sai kasar Ghana inda rundunar yan sanda ta kama wasu mutane hudu da ake zargi na da hannu a kisan babban jami'in gudanarwar hotel din Kosi Hill dake yankin arewa maso gabashin Ghana kawo yanzu adadin mutanen da aka kama wadanda ake zargi ya kai biyar a cewar rundunar yan sanda za a ci gaba da gudanar da bincike har sai an gurfanar da duk wadanda suka aika ta lefin a gaban kotu Wakilin mu Fahad Adam na dauke da cikakken rahoto daga Accra. A cikin wata sanarwar da rundunar yan sanda ta gana ta fitar ta ce ta kaddamar da bincike domin gano musababban kisan gillar da aka yi wa Mr. Eric Johnson wani shahararren dan kasuwa kuma mamallakin ka ta farin hotel din nan na Kuzi Hill da ake wa laqabi da jirafa Dubai da ke yankin arewa maso gabashin kasar ta Ghana. Sanarwar ta ci gaba da cewa an gano gawar Mr. Johnson ne yana kwance jina jina da sanyin safiyar yau litinin a daya daga cikin dakunan hotel din nasa tunu dai hukumar yan sanda ta ta tafke mutum daya da ake zargi da hannu a kisan da aka yi Mr. Johnson kafin daga bisani a ƙara tafke ƙarin wasu mutane hudu dukkanin su dai ma'aikatan marigaye Mr. Eric Johnson ne rahotanni sun ƙara da cewa wanda suka yi wa Mr. Johnson kisan gilla sun yi awan gaba da motar sa ta hawa kafin daga bisani su yi watsi da ita a wani yanki haka zalika wannan lamari yayi matakar ta yadda hankulan al'umma musamman mazauna garin na jirafa da kewaye saboda irin yadda ake kwatanta marigayin Mr. Eric Johnson da nagari na kowa bugu da kari kuma ya samar wa dadarurwar matasan wannan yanki ayyuka tare da tallafawa ayyukan jinkai Tuni dai babban speaker general yan sanda na kasa ya tura da jami'an farin kaya domin tabbatar da cewa an cafke tare da gurfanar da wanda suka aika ta wannan aika aika ga gaban kuliya Muhammad Fad Adam Sashin Hausa na BBC daga Accra Ghana To daga Ghana sai kasar Zimbabwe yayin da aka saki bude makarantu a kasar a wannan rana bayan jinkiri saboda barkewar cutar kwalara wadda ke saurin yaduwa ta hanyar amfani da gurbatar cin ruwa Gwamnatin kasar ta bayyana cewa a wannan karan cutar kwalara ta yi tsanani fiye da shekaru 20 da suka gabata. Ga rahoton da Bilkisu baban gida ta fassara na Shingai Yoka. Bayan da suka yi asarar karatu na makonni biyar, yanzu kananan yara miliyan 4 ne a kasar ta Zambia za su koma makaranta. Ma'aikatar ilimi ta ce tana gudanar da bincike a fadin kasar don auna yanayin shirin sake bude makarantun. Jinkirin da aka samu da daga cikin bangare ne na matakai daban-daban na kokarin magance a duwar cutar ta kwalara. Tun a watan Oktoba ne mutane 500 suka rasa rayukan su a yayin da sauran 1015 suka kamu da cutar da aka sarun su kananan yara ne. Kungiyar ba da agaji ta save the children ta ce wannan sabuwar matsalar kiwon lafiya a kasar ta Zambia babbar baraza na ce ga ilimi da kariyar kananan yara da ba a taba shedawa ba tun bayan barkewar annobar corona. Bilkisu baban gida kenan da fassaran rahotan Shingai Nyoka yanzu kuma sai labarin wasanni Tawagar yan kwallan Najeriya ta barar da damar lashe gasar cin kofin kwallan Africa wato Abcom bayan ta sha kashi a hannu mai masaukin baki Ivory Coast da Chibiu da daya Super Eagle ta buga wasan karshe sau 9 amma kuma sau 3 kacal ta lashe gasar shin ina matsalar take Alhaji Bashir Jantile masanin kwallan kafa ne kuma wato a gaban shi aka buga wasan karshe na jiya a birnin Abidjan kai tsaye muna tare da shi ta wayar tarho Bashir kamar me ya jawo wa Najeriya wannan rashin nasara To na farko abin da ya sha abin da ya jawo rashin nasara na abuwa ne kamar guda biyu ko uku su bangaren kodabuwa kowa ya sani cewa sun buga wasan da Najeriya nan jira ta ci su a kasar su to kuma san da abubuwan da ya faru wanda ya kasa su nuna bacin ran su hatta kai da fa samu su motoci da sauran su to wannan ya ba su karsashi sun nuna kishin kasa sun nuna cewa za su iya yi a kasar su ake yi ko a mutu ko a rai 
sai sun dan wannan kofi sannan na biyu kuma da suka samu da gurin yakasa ya taimaka musu da bangaren Najeriya kuma abin da ya kawo musu matsaloli shine duk wanda ya kalli wannan wasa ya kalli yadda bayan Najeriya ta samu kwallon ta farko aminci 45 na farko bayan an dawo sai su koma cewa su kuma su su wato su yi defendant su kare me ku sanin da su suna neman attacking inda su so koma bayan gabaki daya wannan ya ba wa yan abrokos dama suka ringa kai cin karan su ba babbaka har suka ba da pressure da dole sai su kara wa yan suka suka farke sannan kuma su kara wa Najeriya ta biyu to wasu na cewa wasu na cewa kasar ba ta da sa'a sosai a wasan karshe to wannan abu ne na kowa ya fadar rayinsa amma an wuce wannan tsarin a yanzu yanzu domin kowa iya bal a duniya idan aka kalli yan wasan Najeriya da yan wasan Kodaguwa duk yan